We started out selling when we were really, really small. He would go to the market early in the morning, drive to Columbus, come back with a truckload of tomatoes. We'd make baskets, putting them all together, cardboard baskets, and then go around door to door, knocking on the door, selling tomatoes. Or we would sell- Together or just individually? You know, we would go individually. He would send us all out. And you're the oldest. I'm the oldest. So yeah. did he give you lessons? Like to tell you, okay, oh, yeah. now, when you go there, Yes, he gave us a little speech to make. Right. And he would make donuts and we'd go out and sell those donuts door to door. He even made horseradish, homemade horseradish. And that he sold to restaurants. We didn't sell that door to door. Now your mother was helping out doing this stuff. No, she work. was working for National Cash Register, the old NCR okay. at that time. So yeah, dad would put us out selling. That was my first job and when I turned 15, he was the regional manager. I guess I was regional manager for Curtis Circulation Company. You, some of the people, you might remember the old Saturday Evening Post. Right. That was their main magazine. Okay. So I went to work for him selling magazine subscriptions door to door. At 15? At 15. Okay. I didn't have a driver's license, didn't have a car. Okay. I'll tell you a story about I that. I want to hear that. <clears throat> And we would go into a town, all the little towns around Ohio, and most of them had a volunteer fire department or they had an American Legion, they had something that would loan sick room equipment to people. So if you got injured and you needed a wheelchair, you needed a hospital bed, you needed a pair of crutches, you didn't have to go buy it. You could just go to the American Legion or the fire department and borrow it. So we would sell, we would get their blessing, we would be backed by them, and we would go in representing legally. We would say, I'm here on behalf of your fire department. They're raising money to buy sick room equipment. And to do this, we're offering magazine renewals or magazine subscriptions. And they raised quite a bit of money for that sort of thing. But the first day, he gave me some training. I went around with him, learned how to talk, learned how to knock on doors. He put me out of my territory, said, I'll pick you back, pick you up back here at five o'clock. I said, okay, that's fine. So I walked around all day, picked me up at five o'clock, and he said, so how'd you do? I said, oh, I think I did pretty good. I sold $30 worth. So okay, well, not bad for your first day. I was getting a 50% commission on this too. Okay. So his next question was, well, how much of your territory did you cover? I said, well, I covered it all. He said, you did? I said, yeah. You went to every house? Yeah. Knocked on every door. And you sold $30 worth. Yeah, sold $30 worth. He said, tell you what we're going to do. Tomorrow we're going to go back to every one of those houses that didn't buy, and I'm going to go with you, and you're going to knock on the door, and when they open the door, you're going to explain again that I was here yesterday, but I didn't do a really good job explaining this to you. So let me explain again what we're doing. And he was standing off to the side and listening to me. And that day I sold $50 worth. <laughs> and I didn't go through my whole territory. That was my first lesson in door-to-door -door selling, other than what we'd sold as kids. And that was easy because you're a little kid. And you're right, people do it because you're a little kid, right? Yeah, my brother, uh, the one who passed away, used to tell the story about dad made a speech for him. And he'd go knock on the door. He was a little seven-year-old kid, maybe only six, knocking on the door and standing there selling packages of needles, a, a cardboard package full of maybe three dozen different size needles. At it. And he'd knock on the doors. Hello, my father has designed a program for young men like myself to help raise money for our college fund. And to do this, I'm selling these packages of needles. How many would you like to buy? <laughs> so that was his break in to selling. So yeah, my father was a salesman his whole life. Oh. And that's held up pretty well for me over the years too. I learned selling at a very young age. And even what I do today really involves a lot of selling. Mm -hmm.
But don't you think all of us are selling in one way or the other? We are. We just don't realize it. We don't realize times. it. Right. You know, the first time you meet somebody, you're selling yourself to them or you're not. That's right. And if you can't sell yourself to the person in the proper way, or they don't sell themselves to you in the proper way, nothing's going to develop.